What's up, man? It's the Beast of Rap Rock. So I'll subscribe to my channel. So check this out. Javante Davis says he has more skills than Mike Tyson on the internet. All right. This guy said Mike Tyson was asked if Javante Davis reminds him of himself. And Mike Tyson said maybe just getting in trouble with the law. Other than that, no. Javante Davis said, I agree. I have more skills. Then someone says, Tank and Tyson are two completely different fighters. And Javante Davis says, definitely, but I do have more skills than Mike. Respectfully. So this was my opinion on Javante Davis saying that he has more skills than Mike Tyson. This is what I said. I said, Tank does have more tricks in the bag than Tyson did, but it doesn't make a difference. He got to understand that Mike didn't start boxing until he was 13 and made his debut at 18 and became the youngest heavyweight champion of the world before he was 21. He became the lineal champion. Mike is a legend. Javante got a lot of work to do. I've never seen any boxer be respected and loved like Mike Tyson outside of Ali. Mike made a specific boxing style famous worldwide. Tank don't have a specific style, which makes him more versatile than Mike. Mike had one only job. Mike had one and only one job. Get on the inside and touch them till they fall. Seek and destroy does not require a lot of skills for Mike because he was a natural destroyer. Tank has crazy power, but he ain't no destroyer or wrecking machine. Tank got to work to get the KO. Tyson didn't. His fights was lasting seconds. Tank got to strategize and use a lot of boxing IQ. I don't take it as an insult. One guy commented, said pure fact, 100 pure facts. One guy said spot on 100. With that being said, Ali and Sugar Ray Robinson and Mike Tyson Floyd. The best for me, especially Ali, Tyson, Sugar Ray, Robinson. One, one guy said, what tricks do he have? Y'all smoking 80s hard glass. That's what he said, right? So then I commented back. I said, did you even read what I said? Or are you just talking to be running your mouth? I broke it all the way down. I've been boxing since the 90s, dude. I watched Tyson in his prime in the 80s as a teen and have studied his entire style and career. Mike didn't have more skills than Tank. Mike had more gifts and a better style than Tank. You got to understand that speed, the way you are built, and KO power are not skills. That is gifts. Overall, any of us rather be prime Mike than Tank. But Tank being so little and disadvantaged with reach, he had to learn how to box and set traps and learn more tri tricks to beat his opponents. All Mike had to do was bulldoze him. <laughs> you know? For those who have not been following me and don't know this, Mike Tyson is the reason I started training when I was 13 in 1989. He is my biggest idol next to Tupac. But I'm realistic. Someone who has been boxing since the 90s and I still train it to this day in my 40s. Watching Tank's prime, watching Mike Tyson in his prime as a teen, studying him his whole entire career, his whole life. I can say that Tank has more skills. That does not mean that he's better than Mike. You got to understand what skills mean. Skills means more tricks in the bag. Tyson was powerful explosive fast as hell strong you know one one punch knockout power in both hands a lot of these things i named aren't skills they are gifts that he has his speed his power like these were his main attributes they're the difference between a brawler and a boxer. Then you got some people that say he's a brawler, puncher. Some people they say he's a boxer, brawler, right? What do you consider Tyson? Tyson's a puncher. 
you look at Tyson more as a puncher than an actual boxer. You don't Tyson never had to jab, right? Like he had a great jab. Don't get me wrong, but Tyson never had to like, where he could just win a fight off his jab alone and just win a 12 round decision, <laughs> you know, where commentators are talking about, Oh, you know, good footwork, good head movement. We're in the ninth round, you know, uh, Tyson's losing, but he's working off the jab. Like that's not Tyson. It was, if Tyson jabs you, it was just to set up that right hand and knock you out cold. If Tyson got on the inside, he hits you with an uppercut and you're asleep. And this is not to say that Tyson can't box and not a great boxer. Tyson was a great boxer, you know, to say that Tyson, and this is not saying Tyson don't have skills, but we're talking like when you watch Tyson box and you look at tank box tank is the one that you would consider the, if you had to look and say, which one's the brawler, which one's the boxer, you're going to look at tank as the boxer and you're going to look at Mike as the brawler is, I mean, that's just what it is. That's why when they asked the fun question, if you was in a bar fight, what boxer do you wish you had on your side? Everybody says Mike Tyson because they know how Tyson fights. Like it's a fucking bar fight, right? It's a brawl. Like that's who you want. Are you going to call Devin Haney? You want a boxer? You want Tank in there with you? Come on. Fuck that. You want Mike Tyson in that bar with you. You had to get in a street fight. Who you want? You want a, you want a boxer or you want somebody that can take your head off with one punch like Mike Tyson? You want somebody that's going to stick and move? Tyson don't stick and move. He sticks and knocks your ass out. Let's make it easier for you to understand. Two of the greatest of all time, Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali. If you had to pick one for a million dollars and say, which one's the brawler, which one's the boxer, you're going to say Ali was the boxer and Mike Tyson was the brawler. Tyson will knock your ass out. Ali will pepper you to death. And that's not to say that Ali won't knock you out. He had plenty of knockouts, but he was still just more known as a boxer, right? He can knock you out. He put you on your ass, but he's known as a boxer. People seem to think that what Javante Davis said was disrespectful. Having more skills than somebody does not mean that you're a better boxer than them. We have seen guys with better skills lose to a brawler. The perfect example of that is Marcos Madonna versus Adrian Broner. We see how those skills did not pay the bills that day.